Hi everyone, I'm Sophie, I'm 20 years old and I'm in the final for the Pole to Pole Cup. And that's at the end of October, so it's less than about 4 or 5 weeks away from now. So at the moment I've been working on my strength training to make sure I've got enough strength to perform the moves that I want to to the best of my ability. And something that I found really useful is the Jennifer Wilkins article. It's in the September issue and it's on page 40 in the September issue. And it just includes moves that you can use to boost your arm strength. So I've been practicing them as regularly as I can. I definitely notice a difference. So I'm going to show you a few things that I've been doing. One of the methods that she teaches is a side pull. So you stand to the side of the pole with one arm here and the other arm here. And what we're going to do is keep your feet as close as you can to the pole and just lean away and then pull back in. And then lean away and pull back in. And then obviously go around to the other side, take the same position, and back again. She recommends that you do this about 10, ti uh, 10 times on each side, and then move on to your next method, and then come back and do this set three times. So altogether that's 30 on each side, which is quite strenuous, but you do feel a lot better for it after. Another one that she teaches is the forearm pull, which is something that I really wanted to work on. I haven't really found anything to work out my forearm before, but this really, really helps. So you stand at the pole with your feet over the pole. The further you go forward, the harder it will be. So if it's too hard, just bring your feet a little bit back in, or even to here. So I'm going to try it around here. And then you take the arm you want to work, and you put it in the middle of your chest, around the pole, and you put your other arm onto your forearm. And what you do is you just pull back and then pull in. Pull back and pull in. And after two of them, I can really feel it. So maybe just bring, if you get a little bit tired, just bring them in a little bit more. One, two. And then obviously back to the other side. Feet round the other side. Other hand where your chest is. Other hand gripping the forearm. And then back and back. She also recommends that you do that about 30 times on each side and you can really feel it. It's very good for working out your forearms. I, I really, really enjoy that one. Another one which I do myself, which I've been taught over the years, is a pull-up. Now this isn't about how long you can hold it, as long as you do it properly. So you stand in front of the pole, one hand high, one hand below, as if you were going to climb. And it's not jumping, just pulling yourself up. You want to pull yourself up and hold. You hold it as long as possible and then just slowly back down. Obviously the more you do it the longer you can hold it for and if you really wanted to you can come up and down. Let your feet just touch the floor and then up. That's quite hard and that's something I'm going to carry on working on. I know that the JW method is coming to America and she's doing a master class for the pole to pole cup USA been really good before that I can't make that but it'd be great for anyone to pretend but keep looking out for her articles in Pole to Pole. So I maybe put a new video up before the Pole to Pole Cup where I get working on my routine. Thank you.